Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to explore how to find the volume of a tetrahedron. And a tetrahedron has a triangular base and kind of looks like a pyramid. And so the volume geometrically of something like that is equal to one third the area of the base times the height. Now the area of the base, since it's a triangle, which is basically half of a parallelogram, can be found by taking half the cross product of the two vectors that represent the two, two of the three sides of the triangle of the base. So we go A cross B, take half of that, that will give us the area of the base, and then we'll multiply that times the height, and the way to find the height is to then go ahead and do a dot product between one of the vectors along the side here of the tetrahedron and the perpendicular relative to the base. Of course, the perpendicular, the vector C, can be found by doing A cross B. So essentially, we have A cross B times one half, which gives us the, the uh, vector perpendicular to the plane of A and B, where the base is. Then we dot that with the vector D, and we get the height from that dot product, we multiply the height times the, the size of the area, and we have the volume. Of course, we can't forget the one-third because we are indeed dealing with a tetrahedron. So essentially, when we simplify this, we get the volume is equal to one-sixth the cross product of the two vectors of the base, and then we dot that with the um, with a third vector which is along one of the sides of the tetrahedron. Now, again, it doesn't matter what the order of the vectors are. We can also, of course, write as d dot a cross b. doesn't make any difference. And with other words, we can say that the volume is also equal to one-sixth times a cross d dotted with the vector b. And we can say that the volume is also equal to one-sixth times b cross d dotted with the vector a. In each case, you're going to get the exact same result, the volume of the tetrahedron. And that's how it's done.